In the previous example, I talked about skewness and ketosis. There's another example in here um, under topic four, which is again just some made up numbers. And you can see how we've got these things worked out. We've got here a distribution where I've, it's just made up values of x, okay? And you can see that uh, the mean of this is 10.1, those for x values. But uh, if I work out the uh, skewness, it is um, it's a negative value, okay? But, uh, and the reason is that uh, the mean of 10.1 is being dragged down. If we go over here, we've got a different example. So this is a this is what we call a bull market, of course, because um, we've got lots of high returning periods. If these are returns, here we've got a bear market, where we've got returns of zero and just one high one, and um, we end up with with up there. So here we've got negative skewness because of a few retur low returning, most of the returns are good, but there's a few low returning periods dry, dragging the mean down. Up here we've got uh, the, uh, the mean is above the median, uh, and that's because we've got mostly bad returning periods, but you've basically got this, this one of 9% return, which is sort of a fluke or something, and that's dragging the average up.